hey everyone okay so as discussed last time uh, we have come up with merge short as well so we'll talk about merge short in this uh, video and we'll see how it works with swift okay so what is merge short merge short is again a divide and conquer uh, technique to short an array um, so what we do over here we divide our array into n elements and then we short uh, we merge it in a shorted order so there are two steps in merge short first step is split the unshorted array containing n elements into n arrays containing one element each so we'll split this array in into as many parts as it will come become so if it is array of n elements we'll split it into n arrays with one element in each arrays okay so first we split into two halves and then the other halves like the sub arrays will split again and then we'll split again we'll split until we have one element in each array so we have like one one element over here so this is the end of our first step the second step is merge the piles together by sequentially pairing piles together in sorted array so what we do in the second step is we merge these uh, uh, these uh, sub arrays in a sorted order so 38 in 27 27 is lesser than 38 so we'll merge it in a way that in the uh, merged array 27 will come first and then 38 will come second so it is a sorted array right then again 43 and 3 3 is shorter uh, 3 is um, smaller so 3 will come first and then 43 so this is also a sorted array then 9 and 82 9 and 82 this is a sorted array and 10 is single element so no need of merging it with well then again we'll merge these two together while merging we'll again short it so 3 will come first and then 27 and 38 and then 43 and over here we'll merge these two together 92 a so 9 10 and 82 so it will be sorted array and then these arrays will again merge together and the final array will be our sorted array so while merging will be shorting the arrays so two step in merge short first you split your array into n elements uh, array of animal and n elements each each containing one element sorry any array of n array oh god i can't speak so you will split your array of n elements into n arrays with each array containing one element and then you merge those arrays uh, in a sorted order and while once your merging is done you'll have your final sorted array okay i hope you understood so two steps first split the array and then merge the array in sorted format so over here I have an unsorted array and then uh, as I said two step right so first step would be split the array so for split the array we, ha we have another function we have one function for split and we have another function for merge okay so let's see let's see our first function merge short for merge short so it is taking an array of element uh, integers and then it returns an array of integer which would be the return would be uh, use uh, you know it will be the sorted array and then we see if the array count is greater than one okay if it is uh, greater than one then we'll go ahead with this thing we'll we'll go ahead with next step if it is not greater than one then we'll return the array okay so as you see it is a uh, merge short works as uh, merge short is also a recursive calls right so to come out of the recursive loop we have this statement so once as i said right each and each array will have one element and till then we will keep on um, uh, dividing our um, array so that that is why as soon as our array count is less than one will come out of the loop okay so what do we do uh, we we take mid n index so while dividing we are dividing it from the middle so we take the mid index so array count by 2 and then we divide our array in two so first array will have 0 to mid index and then second array will have from mid index to array of count so this is this is our array so uh, mid index is this left array will be merge short so whatever array we get over here so the left array this array 38 till over here so it will be like from 0 to mid index 
array from 0 to min index it will be our left left array and that again will send it for merge short okay it'll go again for merge short so this is how uh, the it'll function as soon as i will come on this line it'll again call the same function recursively and then for this for this we'll again find the mid index so we'll see if the array count is greater than one it is so we'll come over here we'll find the mid index and then we'll divide it into two arrays so we divide it and then we have again one more left array that is 38 and 27 so from 0 to mid index so 0 to till 27 so again we have this array and then this is again called recursively so we are calling merge short again on 38 and 27 once you have 38 and 27 it is greater than 1 okay so we'll again find uh, mid index and then from mid index we'll find two, uh, 0 to mid index so 0 to mid index it is 1 only so 38 and 27 right 38 and 27 so 0 to uh, so it will it'll, it'll be one element only right so in this area we'll have only 38 so again when we go to when we recursively call merge short in for this recursive call our array count is not greater than one it is equal to one right so we'll come out of this uh, like this loop this recursive loop will end here and then the next would be the right array this array over here and then we'll perform the same thing on the right array like we'll again call merge short on right array and then on merge on right array we'll have 99 and 82 this these two and then 10 and for the uh, okay and for this uh, we'll have left array 9 and 82 uh, we'll call it again and then that will be like 9 and 82 so this this will call recursively as long as this uh, this array dot array count is greater than one okay you i hope you understood it once i we have this format what we'll do we'll call our merge merge function so the next step will come now so merge function will have left array and right array okay this left array and then this is right array okay so yeah so for left array and right array so the merge function will take left array and right array and integer uh, like it will return the merged array right so let's say for this for first it will be 38 and 27 okay it will so what it does a uh, left index 0 right index 0 so we have it so we first initialize two indexes left index and right index and then we have an array of so we have ordered array integer and in this array only will be appending our uh, you know merged merged array and this is the array which is returned at the end okay so while left index is less than left dot count and right index is less than right dot count, dot count till then we'll be running this for loop okay so yeah so if left left index is less than right right index so if uh, you know this and this so we'll uh, we'll compare it if it is less then uh, we'll append the left index in this uh, and then increase the left index to one if it is uh, less than right index is less than left index so we, we just over here we are just making sure that left array is should be lesser and right array should be more so if right left array is less than uh, right array then we append it in the ordered array if it is not then we append the uh, right array okay and we uh, increment our index as well and then this one this is for the uh, um, okay, uh, okay let's uh, let's just run it through okay am I wrong somewhere Am I not understanding, guys? Okay, order array, append. Okay, so you append whatever is, um, uh, you know, if it is not uh, less than or equals um, greater than, uh, yeah, if it is not less than or greater than, then it is equals to that uh, uh, 
it is equal right then we add it over here so this is the equal condition so if it is le if left index and right index is equal then we'll append it over here and then we'll uh, extend left index and right index both so we'll uh, count of left index would be plus one and plus one okay uh, yeah and whatever once that is done whatever is left in the left uh, array will append it in the array and whatever is left in the right array will append it in the array so we'll append the left index uh, left array first and then right array second so at the end of this the ordered array will be the array with the order list so over in this this was a little confusing while i will explain I was explaining right so th this is just conquering like once we have this we're just merging all the arrays Whew. okay okay yep so once uh, while merging we just check uh, we have a while loop to check if the left index is less then we append it if right index is less then we append that and if it is equal then we append both and we increase increment the index count and once uh, you know once the appended things once the uh, two two like so once these are done we have one append um, one uh, left uh, left array right this array which is not being compared with anything so that would be like added over here okay 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 so time complexity for merge short is o n log n uh, even in worst case it is o n log n which is very good and average case it is o n log n so merge short is the best shorting algorithm in whatever we have talked a lot better than quick and uh, obviously better than bubble and in church and selection short so machine is very good shorting algorithm and you should you should learn it before going to any uh, you know interview so just understand how it works the divide and merging and we have two functions and then how we you know we do the merging based on our arrays so yeah that's all thanks for watching i hope you liked it I will be sharing the, uh, you know, I will be sharing the, this link for this uh, code, GitHub link, and then I'll be sharing a link to my blog where I have explained more short, a little, little bit more, like you can read it through it. So, yeah, okay, I'll see you in next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.